Hey friend, welcome to my channel. If you're new, I'm Karenita. So as you can tell from the title of today's video, today I'll be trying to attempt a wash and go. Girl, if this is your first time coming to my channel, let me tell you this, me and wash and goes do not get along, okay? I feel like my curls aren't really trained enough to do wash and goes. My curls in the front, they don't really curl, they're just like straight. And people think that I put a relax in my hair, but I actually didn't. My curls in the front just, they don't wanna act right. But we're gonna try today because I am gonna be using Miss Jessie's products. I've seen a lot of good reviews about her products. Um, a lot of people use them mainly for wash and go, so I felt like this would be a good product to try to attempt the wash and go again. So I have the Pillow Soft Curls, and I also have the Leave-In Kadish. So this is my first time actually seeing the Leave-In Kadish. I've never seen them in the stores. I did order her products online. So I'm super excited to try this out because me personally, when I use products, I like to have a leave-in conditioner and some type of curl cream or a gel. So the fact that she had this leave-in Kadish is sold me. But girl, I'm pretty sure you already know. Miss Jessie's is very expensive. So yes, I paid out of pocket to review these products for y'all girls. So we gonna see, and I'm gonna let y'all know the tea today and not if it works on my hair. Because everybody's hair is different. A lot of people have been saying that these products, well, I haven't really heard any reviews about the leave-in condition. But as far as the pillow curls, I know a lot of people saying that they like these better than the other um, soft curls they had. I forgot the name of them. But everybody always talk about how they like the way they smell and how it makes their curls form way better than the other products. So that's the reason why I got this one. Also too, before filming this video, when I wash my hair, I also use um, Miss Jackie's Rapid Recovery Retreatment. So I use that product as well, as far as like a hair mask. Um, it was okay, I didn't really see like a big difference as far as using other hair products like TGIN. I really do feel like it's a really good treatment for my hair. This one was just okay. So I'm glad I got the sample and I didn't get the big bottle because I kinda would've been upset, but yeah. So I'm rambling, but we're gonna get into the video. So if you find this interesting, stay tuned. So I already have my hair parted in Sephora section. So the items that I have today to try to attempt to have a successful wash and go, of course I have my water bottle. And of course I have Miss Jessie products, the leave-in conditioner and also the soft styling lotion. Also as well, I have a comb to part my hair. I also have a detangle brush. This is West Style's, my favorite detangle brush by far. If you saw my other video, you know the reason why. I have my clips, extra ones to put in my hair in case I need them. And also I have a diffuser that I had ordered from Amazon from Revlon. So we're gonna try that on camera too, girl. Hopefully this works because the reviews. All right, so I'm just gonna take off one section, get a little piece. Cause when I was watching videos of people who do their wash and goes, they always say it's good to part into small sections when doing your hair. So I feel like that should be pretty good. I'm just gonna add some more water and then I'm just gonna detangle it a little. Yeah, I'm so nervous because when I tell y'all, like I really hope these products work really good on my hair because sometimes I wanna just wash my hair and go. Like I don't wanna have to twist my hair and then wait till the next day to take it down for my hair to look cute. I wanna wash my hair and be on the go. So hopefully this works out. And another reason too why I really don't like wash and goes, you guys, is because my shrinkage is really bad when I do wash and goes as well. So we're gonna start off by using the leave-in condition. It smells like soap. Kinda like dial soap, maybe. But it's it's not like a strong scent, but it smells like soap, basically. So we're just gonna rub it together. This is what it looks like when you rub it. I'm just gonna go ahead and add it to my hair. All right. Okay. All right, so far it's looking pretty good. All right. So I don't know, cause I don't really do wash and go. Should I like detangle my hair to make the curls or should I just do what I'm doing now? Like using my fingers to make the curls? I don't really know. It looked like it's working with my fingers. So I'm, I guess I'm just gonna do it like that. Wow, it looks really nice. So now I'm gonna go in with the Pillow Soft Curls. This one smells really good. This one kind of smells like soap too. It smells like the hand soap, like when you're washing your hands. But I can't think of which brand, but it smells like hand soap. It smells good though. I feel like I put a lot on my hand, but it should be okay. So, let's see what we working with. All 
right, yeah, I, I really think this might be the one because so far it's looking really good. Wow, look at that. That looks really good. But the back always look good, so we're going to have to see how the front looks. So It look okay right now, but I'm telling y'all, the front, that's what I'm worried about. This time I'm not gonna use as much product as I used the first time because I feel like with her products, a little goes a long way. So. Oh shoot, I should've detangled it first. And I also be seeing like girls who do wash and go, they be doing this too with their hair. Like they do the prayer hands. I don't know if that'll work for me. Ciao. <laughs> I did the back so now it's time to do the front the scary part oh my god let me cross my fingers girl because I might cry if my hair don't come out the way I want it to oh lord I'm scared All right, 
So here's a perfect example. See how my hair doesn't really curl? You see that? We gonna see girl. It's trying to do something. It's trying, yeah. It's trying, y'all. It's trying. It's trying to do something. I think I'm just going to have to train my curls. Like, I'm going to have to keep doing wash and goes, maybe. And then, like, it would train itself to curl. I just finished doing each section of my hair and this is what it looks like so far I don't know I see potential I feel like once it's dry it's gonna look really cute you know I have high hopes you know I'm crossing my fingers what do you guys think because I'm telling y'all compared to the other products that I use girl like it really looks really good it's not exactly how I want it but like I told y'all earlier in the video I feel like I have to train my curls because keep in mind like this is my second time since I've been natural doing a wash and go so you know what I'm saying? My curls aren't used to it, so I just feel like it looks really good for it to not be trained. What do y'all think? So now I'm about to go ahead and diffuse my hair. I will be using a diffuser from Revlon. I got this diffuser off Amazon. I have the link down below for you guys if you're interested in purchasing it. And I guess I could do a little review for you guys as well because this will be my first time trying it out. And also, this is my first time ever diffusing my hair. Anytime I do my hair, I always let it air dry, so... <sighs> new start for everything right so let me set up this diffuser and then we can get started with doing my hair this is how it comes 
is so hot, y'all. And the piece for the diffuser. And this is the blow dryer. And apparently this part lights up, it turns red when it's on. It's really cute. And it's cute, but do it work? That's what really matters. Do you see how it turns red? my hair and honestly I mean <laughs> I feel like it really didn't do the job I left it on low heat because that's what everybody recommends so maybe I have to put it on um, high I guess because my hair it feels a little bit more dry than what it was it still feels very wet I kind of expected it because this is a cheap diffuser I only paid like $30 for it so it makes sense of why it's not really doing a job it looks like it's gonna take longer than a more expensive diffuser would take so um, I'm going to keep diffusing my hair off the camera and once my hair is fully dry, I'll get back on here and show you guys the final results. So okay y'all, so it's a couple hours later and my hair is almost fully dry. It's just a little damp now. So as you guys can see, I went ahead and put four twists in the front of my hair and the first two twists I put accessories on there, you know, the little gold little rhinestones, little accessories or whatever. And then I just picked out my fro. And this is what my hair was looking like. This is as good as it'll get. So as far as the wash and go, like it came out okay. I'll give it a seven out of a 10. I really do like the Miss Jessie's products. Um, it really did define my curls way better than the last time I did a wash and go. The only thing about the wash and go me is first of all, I definitely need to get a trim. Like girl, when I was doing my hair, the front of my hair was way longer than the rest of my hair. And I don't know if you guys can see, but girl, look at this. Like some pieces of my hair are way longer than the other. And it's just like, what is going on here? Like that's not cute. Like this part is shrinked way up here and then these pieces are just hanging. So and it's like that over here too. So I don't, mm -mm. so I'm trying to tuck that in a hide it girl, but no ma'am, that's not cute. And then it's just like the front of my hair, like it did curl, but it was just still some pieces that was just a little straight. And then again, it's just like, I feel like if I get a trim, I could definitely wear my hair like all down when I wear a wash and go. And now that my hair is dry, I'm not gonna lie, I do feel the product now. Like it feels kind of sticky and it's just getting all over my hands and it just, you know what I'm saying? It feels messy, but it doesn't feel heavy on my hair. Like it still feel light and fluffy. So let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you like my hair the way it turned out. Let me know if you think I should keep doing wash and goes. I feel like if I keep doing wash and goes more often, my curls will train and it will look a lot more better. And once I get that trim girl it's gonna be really cute because like I said like I couldn't even wear my hair like I do regularly like with the wash and go like because my curls aren't as tight as it is when I do braid out and twist out so like the front of my hair girl is like hanging right to here so I can't wear it as a bang because I would have to cut it 
So I don't know, it's just a lot going on. I had to get that situated. Another thing too is I have low porosity hair. So the product, it really doesn't get into my hair. Maybe that's why my curls really don't define like other people's hair. But other than that, um, this is how my hair turned out. I feel like if I'm in a rush, like I really could do a wash and go, put my hair something like this. So it'd probably be cute. But let me know what you think, girl. Let me know what kind of hairstyle you want me to try next or what products you want me to use. And I got you. So until then, see you next time.